Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a, a Michael's craft video along with a TJ Maxx slash Home Goods haul. Um, these are just some things that I have picked up today. Um, I have a warmer, well first we're going to start with Michael's. I have a warmer in my bedroom. I have a warmer in the kitchen. I have um, those little tiny plug-in warmers in my bedroom and the bathrooms and stuff, which we rarely use those warmers, the little plug-in ones. Um, what are you doing, Snooky? So anyway, so I needed a warmer in my living room, and I've been having problems trying to find something that kind of like matches the decor of my living room. So I went to Michael's, and I'm just going to grab it. I found this one. It was um, originally $16, but then I got the 40% off, so um, I got the, the warmer for like $10, um, so that's not too bad. And let me just put the box over here, and I'm just going to show it to you real quick. It is a 25-watt warmer, and I think it's beautiful. Um, so it's this olivey green color, and this is the same color as my furniture in my living room. And what I love about it, first of all, is the color, the texture. Sit down, Snooky. But I also love the lid. Now, I don't, the warmers that I have are like from um, Sensationals or Better Homes and Gardens. So I don't have any um, of the lids that are really big like this. So that's why I kind of got this one. Um, and there's the light bulb on the inside. Everything was included, and it just sits really pretty like this and I'm gonna put this in the middle of my couch and chair in my living room so then that way um um I can smell the not so strong scents um when I'm just sitting down like relaxing in my living room so the next thing I got at Michael's were these flat braid wicks and these um also have the little silver things um, connected to them on the bottom. What I plan on doing, and I got this idea from like three or four different people on YouTube, is they told me not to um, take the wax um, left over in my warmer when I'm done warming it and the scent just isn't there anymore. Don't throw it away, make yourself um, your own candle. So I decided that I'm going to be doing that. I already have one kind of set up, um, but I needed the wicks to start pouring the wax in there. So I got these wicks and these are a set of um, six wicks. These are nine inches and I got the bigger ones because my jars are going to be a little bit taller um, and then you can just kind of cut them down to size when you're finished. But these are good for molding, a container, taper, gel, soy, or beeswax. So yeah. Um, and these were $5.99. Okay, so on to my um, TJ Maxx haul. I went in there not expecting too much and came out with four candles. Um, surprise, surprise. I got um, spring scents. They didn't have obviously any winter in. They had a few new ones, but we'll kind of talk about that. So the first one I got was a surprise to me. I've never smelled this before. This is by Yankee Candle. It was $9.99 and this is the Soho Living Lavender Apple. <clears throat> and like I said, I've never seen this one before, um, but I had to smell it. And you know me and my lavender. My whole room is like made of purples and plums and uh, lavender colors. And this smells amazing. So it's a two wick candle. Uh, regular size large pillar jar. Um, I love the label. And with smelling it on cold sniff, I get the apple first. So the apple note is first, and the apple note is pretty good. I mean, I kind of like it a lot. Um, it's a sweet apple with a flowery note at the end, which I'm guessing is the lavender leaves um, or the lavender flower, but it is really good. And if you guys can find this candle, grab it because this is like one of my favorites out of all the candles that I got. Um, next is the Lime Mojito. This is um, a drink, obviously, and yeah, um, it was again $9.99. The sticker is like falling off of it, but anyway, it's green wax, and this smells like a lime candy, like a sugared lime. 
beautiful. It doesn't smell like a drink at all or anything like that. It just smells like lime mixed with tons and tons of sugar. So instead of like lemonade, you would get like a limeade. Oh, it smells so good. So that's this one. And this one and the next one I'm going to show you guys were um, on the shelf right together on like a separate display shelf. And I thought that they were the same candle until I looked and then I looked again and I thought, oh, this is something completely different. I picked it up and I like this as well. So this one is called Sun Shower and this is also in the green wax and it's by Soho Living. They had tons of Soho Living ones there. This again was $9.99. And this one just smells like a very, very sweet sunflower um, mixed with like a green note to it. Um, but a, definitely a flower and definitely a must have for the spring and the summer. And then the last one, if you can just excuse me for a second. Don't look at my messy kitchen. Um, this one is from Goose Creek. This candle was only $7.99 and I should have bought another one, but I didn't. But I'm going to tell you why I think that they have these there. So first of all, it's lavender. It's got a beautiful flower on the front of it. And it's called Spring Petals. I don't know if you can see it there. Now, I think that my TJ Maxx had this because first of all, if you look, the label has kind of bunched up. So I think that they had to clearance it out because the label was bunched up. Secondly, this is the only jar out of like three or four jars that they had in this scent where the top actually fit on the candle. The other ones, the top did not fit on the candle. It was like kind of sideways, wouldn't quite like jam in there. So I have a funny feeling that that's why, but look at, there's tons of oils in there. And oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good and so fragrant. It's like a sweet pea, lavender, tulip, like a whole bunch of sweet summer, um, flowers all combined together it's a really really good scent and um again this is two wick so i'm gonna have fun burning this one um i really love goose creek look at all the oils in there and how dark it is on this side beautiful um so yeah so i'm really excited to burn this one and that was my haul for both of the stores so thank you guys so much for watching please remember to look out for what video do I have coming up? Oh, I'm going to show you guys how I make uh, my candle with the leftover wax from my warmers. And um, so, yeah, so make sure and look for that one. And please leave all your questions, comments, suggestions, rate the video down below and have a great day. Bye, guys.